Welcome to Sad Boys, a podcast about feelings and other things also. I'm Jarvis. I'm Jordan. And how's it going? <laughs> Is there other stuff we say? I don't know. Gucci girl. Good the episode. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we don't say that as much. We used to do, how is your week? Oh, we do. Yeah. Let's now we do don't that. have some disgusting little guest <laughs> getting in our way. Sorry, I'm trying to think about how much side ass I'm yeah. showing. Who wants to take crotch? I'll do. How much crotch? What was the other one? It was crotch, side ass, and like. Cankle, and yeah, it was something <laughs> weird. Yeah, face. <laughs> yeah, there's too much face in this podcast. Ew, too cute. Um, how's your week? Um, honestly, really, uh, pretty good. It was. It's. I had. I had a, a first psychiatrist appointment in like three months. Uh, for reference, he's also you know like you know he is also the my therapist therapist essentially. Um, and it's funny having the, the benefit of having any kind of medical professional for anything, but especially brain stuff is that you just have this person that is the archivist for your brain. Yep. You walk in and you go like, Hey, I'm, who am I again? And you're yeah, like, well, this yeah. is what you're experiencing. I'm like, Oh, the thing you told me last time, the night right. is I'm an idiot. And like, yeah, of course. Yeah. I've, uh, I went for this session. It was really nice. We did it at his house, which is gorgeous. It oh, was, shit. That, when I went over, I'm like, this could be the game, actually. Maybe <laughs> it's time to shift. Uh, he, you kick him out. You but just, just feed him. And you get all of his possessions. <laughs> he's very nice. He might let me do it. <laughs> I'm like, it would be really helpful for my mental health if I could live in your house and you live somewhere else. Yeah. And you, you pay for the sessions and I'm the second. Put me on the deed. Would yeah. that be... Oh, no, you're selfish and you won't let me do that. Oh, like, come on. You're oh, affecting my mental. I'm going to go ahead and give you a bad score. Yeah. <laughs> uh, rate my doctor. It's only me. Yeah. Like, nice house. Five stars. <laughs> uh, One star. Won't give it to me. But I went along and it was, uh, I made some tweaks on my medication. That's great. And like a bunch of bunch of specifics. But he also just, uh, it, again, being like an archiver, it's easy to lose perspective. But he just was like you're severely depressed i was like oh yeah yeah i guess i was prior but like i was for so much of last year especially or the last couple of years that now because my material conditions are so much more comfortable in a, in a handful of ways but just life-wise i get yeah. to be around all my friends and like live and do what do what we love right i it's it's like it's like uh tinnitus it's like getting in the way of me hearing the depression it's like, right hey, right you know, like, mm, shut up. yeah there's no, so much other noise good. you're like listening to a song you like that you yeah. like, couldn't hear that you had like tinnitus or like the the speakers suck right like, I'm, I'm listening to this music i love and and i'm like it seems like it sounds like shit no it doesn't because i really like the song and you know ultimately no i've been low for like quite a while but this week was kind of a reminder of as much as I wish I could be completely emotionally uh, independent, not need validation or comfort from too many sources outside of myself, we had we hosted a thing at me and Ethan's place. True, that was really nice. Having people around, fi finishing the furnishing after like six months and making it a real home was yeah. Having an incentive to do that was really nice. Yeah, and then I published. I recorded and published the first Jordan Adika main channel video this year. Everything Pog. else was archive footage uh, because and we talked about it a little bit before the show. I just associate my channel with that darker period in my life. Right. And I don't like who I was as a character. I don't mind it. And I'm glad people connected with it. But for me, it's like a, I would finish recording and be like, fucking hell. I was inhabiting that spirit, like, like taking over that host body for that time is very <laughs> yeah. tiring. Yeah. And then, um, uh, Austin, shout out to Austin. Um, also on the, the sad boys team did an edit. He, he, he did a really solid, like, <laughs> like a six hour turnaround because he did it really quick. Uh, he did an edit on that recording. I looked at the hashtag story, TikToks like like we did on the show recently. Oh yeah, that was so fun. Because they made me laugh and made me so happy. <laughs> but I think a combination of the limited time meant that we were doing longer takes. I was in kind of a better, less manic mood than I would normally be recording a video for my channel. And also I think the the house style that we've established with Sad Boys a little bit helped. In like that my like the 
Dr. Gregory House. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he's actually so, a really good doctor. Is, he, is his first name Gregory? I don't even know. Yeah. Oh, hell. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go. He's Gregory House, and then there's good doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good doctor. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, Michael Good. What are the odds that he, yeah, a guy named Good Doctor just became an MD? Yeah. <laughs> I, saw, I, I suck at being a doctor, unfortunately. Damn it. Uh, but yeah, I, I, the, some, a little bit of external validation has been really positive, and it, I feel very motivated to make... I'm going to record later today because Ooh. it was, I felt very myself recording it. And then the the project came out and it was just, there's like a lot of long takes and it's not all jokes. And when it is, it's happy. One thing people referenced, the video was a, n- a number one of the previous releases. It's the best, I think. I know I'm pretty, I'm a hundred percent sure the best performing solo video. It might be the best performing video long, long term with go. the exception of, Nothing will ever crush uh, six white people, <laughs> one yeah. hidden black person, because that one just like hit like lightning. That was right. just so perfect <laughs> in my heart for everyone. Uh, the, 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 it's what the world needed at a certain period yeah, of time. Yeah, it's true. I think it created the vaccine, if you can believe it. Yeah, I think so. It made us all better. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's the a video doing well as much as I'd like to pretend it's not, you know, essential. It does... It feels like optimism. Like it, it right. Like it's future. just like a pick me up. I mean, like that. Th- yeah, those. It was also about something I liked. A lot of people commented on that. Like, I love that trend. I like not even to make fun yeah, of it. Yeah, I think yeah. it's funny. I think it's really interesting. And I, I couldn't make a million videos about it because it would just be me smiling. But like, <laughs> yeah. Once or twice, just watching those <laughs> story because t- it's never what you expect. It is Shyamalan <laughs> twists. Every Almost, time. It has such a fun relationship with murder. Like every single one of them is just, hey, if you wear the wrong, if um, not matching socks and the teachers catch you, they'll shoot you with an RPG. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I can't believe I wore the wrong socks. Uh, again. <laughs> <I'm such> a, <laughs> the one thing we have to think yeah. about ever. What if humans needed charging? <laughs> When the when Siri takes over your body, oh yeah, what well, kills your ex boyfriend yeah, or something, and whatever. your friend oh, that was who just asked a question. He was the fatality rate on people you know is way too yeah. high in that universe. <laughs> uh, I did watch one where that you can't everything you say has to be lyrics. You have to be referencing a song, but based on the universe, it kind of seems like you're not allowed to say the same line twice. <laughs> so I like, I feel like I'm just not talking. <laughs> Only yeah. one word at a time one to slowly time. move through. A also. Verse. Haven't most things been said in song? <laughs> yeah, it's just rhythm. <laughs> yeah, and you just have to say it in a rhythm. Hello, it's me. <laughs> yeah. Hello, it's me. Hi, it's me. Hello. But yeah, <laughs> thanks to people for checking that out. And Sad Boys will always also just be this source of like, when Sad by, by virtue of existing, Sad Boys is just like, it's like dialysis. It's just right, always right. in the background helping Again. me. Uh, so with you, dog. How's the... You're still in moving process. Yeah, it's like, it's one of those things. I'm sure people get it where like you move and then like you you like order stuff and then things take forever. Yeah. And you like order like a carpet and they're like, the carpet will ship in September. And it's like, wait, why? Are you making it? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. They're like a little elf is, is <laughs> stitching it together by hand. That shit is so weird. There's just a couple things and it does not apply to like, Maybe, maybe if you go like West Elm or something, right? Yeah. It's like, do you want a new coffee table? Yeah. I'm like, okay, here you go to carry it home. I'm yeah. Like, okay, great. Would you like a side table? Yes. Do you want it this year? Yeah. I, mm, mm, we're I thinking think we, 2025 we, for the side, know. the matching side table. Yeah. It's going to, it's like 15 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know if we just make Right. That. Yeah. So I think that things are starting to, um, things are starting to pick up. So I'm hoping that, you know, the next episode or the episode after that, I'll have some good updates. Um, well, it helps, I think, maybe that, like, the house is, is lovely, found a great place. It's immediately, like, livable. Yes. There's not a, not a ton of barriers. Plus... And the bare essentials are, are set up. And we don't have any... People may or may not know, we don't have any lights. We're just natural light for this recording, True. which is a big time saver. Yeah, I need to figure out what to do with... Like all this shit behind us is just here for sound installation to mm. get rid of the echo. Um, it's gonna but, be funny when we get rid of it, and some people are like, "I missed the 
Yeah, I miss oh. the trash in Why the do you background. you change it? Like when we forgot to put this on here for one episode, and people yeah. were like, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't you, put it back. Thinking? Put back the ramen blanket. Or else. I need to figure out like what, because this is like, my desk is over there. I'm like working from that. And then like, I want to figure, and then we've got the little like living room set, but I want some stuff to be here. So this room is like fun to be in. Oh, oh I recognize that chair. Hey. Oh Yeah. Look at you. That, that that is like the old guest chair. I guess we should probably put it. I don't know how this chair got here and that chair got <laughs> relegated. But Come to think of it, this isn't my house. Oh, what's going on? A family of five comes down. <laughs> the They're like, who who let you in here? Like that, like that uh, prankster oh. Mizzy. <laughs> Jesus, bad man. That, that guy, kid is a demon. He, <laughs> <laughs> He's like a real demon. I think. maybe the, his his greatest crime is legitimizing Piers Morgan. Oh, like giving no. him a. It, the same shit happened with uh, Andrew, Tate? Andrew Tate. He did. Do yeah, he did morning. the interview with Andrew Tate and he kind of bodied him. And I'm yeah. just like, man, it really takes fire to fight fire, man. Damn it. Um, he sucks so much. But as far as my week, it's been good-ish. I have been, I've talked about this before, uh, been dealing with like fatigue stuff where I like, I, I always want to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And it's not even go to sleep. I always want to be lying down in my bed and I hate it. Uh, and for a while it was like, okay, you're deficient in vitamin B12. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll take a supplement. And then I wait three months to get tested again. And they're like, okay, it looks good, but you're deficient in vitamin D. And I was like, oh, it weird. And then they're like, that should have come up in the test. No, that should have come up in the test. And they're like, yeah, they, for some reason didn't test for it that first time. And I was like, why, why not? Okay. Um, I forgot. And then I'm not to, a doctor. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got on vitamin D supplements and then three months passed because that's how long it apparently it takes to like enter your system or whatever. It's going to be a surplus, right? Yeah. And then, oh, by like a thousand mm. X or whatever. And then I, so I was so fatigued the other day and I'm dealing with like writer's block because I'm like writing a video right now, but everything I write, I hate. And I'm like, how do you do a video before? I'm like watching our friends' videos and like writing down the structure of a video to convince myself that I know how to make a video. I was yeah. like, oh yeah, you just like show a clip of something and then you like talk about it. Interesting. Like I haven't done this fucking hundreds <laughs> of times. Um, and uh, Is that allowed? <laughs> yeah, no, literally. <laughs> the hell? And then, um, so one day I, I like wasn't feeling it. I did get out of the house because uh, like working from my desk is the most natural thing because everything's like set up. But I like got this laptop to be able to work from um, uh, work from anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, so Anastasia and I went to a coffee shop um, last week. And that was nice. That was like a good day. It was a good trial run. Definitely something I want to do in the future was just texting with uh, Chrissy. I think we're going to have Chrissy's birthday here. Oh, fun. Um, and, and we'll see, like, might be pre a, a housewarming or, or what. But I definitely still want to have a housewarming. I just got to make sure everything's set up. It was Chrissy's birthday, you said? Chrissy's, oh, yeah. I'm busy. Oh, okay. I was away. When was it? I haven't even told you. Okay. No, you yeah. just asked when it was after saying you were busy. Right. Yeah. Like you were. Of course. Uh, okay. <laughs> so you can't make it. We're on the same page. <laughs> okay. So. Um, agree to agree. <laughs> agree to agree. Uh, I. Um, so I was feeling super like tapped one day and I was like, I can't let this day be a complete failure. And I ordered blood work for testing stuff ages ago because luckily i like the the way it works at my doctor is like you order the tests and then they have a lab hours and if you show up during oh. lab hours then you can just do it whatever it's like a separate location or you, you no it's just it's the same but uh like quest diagnostics like maybe, yeah, yeah yeah but it's yeah uh i didn't answer the question but i think yeah it's all combined mm. somehow and um and so I was like, I can't write. My brain isn't functioning for creativity right now. And that's the worst. I, like yeah. when you're just like, ah, this is, oh, it just doesn't work. We were literally just before the, me and Jacob were talking about like it getting trapped in that loop of setting expectations for yourself as far as productivity goes. And then really no matter what you do after you set the specific goal, 
can be a victory. Like now getting that blood work done, which is as essential as writing the video, is failure because it's, like a, it's a hollow you victory. Yeah. But oh, I cleaned the whole house. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. Such an idiot. That used to be how I got things done. I used to like take um I used to procrastinate my it was like productive procrastination. I was like taking an online course about web development while ignoring my homework. <laughs> And I was like, fortunately, it which is developing things on the web. <laughs> well, actually, wasn't because like we didn't. I didn't like uh, that skill set was like out, I. I my education was very like theoretical, mm. um, and so there wasn't a lot of like web stuff at all. So I was like learning all that stuff in like clubs and like. So it was like productive for my actual career after after school, but I was avoiding some boring shit. Anyway, so Does I went speak to how shitty a student I was, by the way, when you said learning it in clubs, I'm like, oh, like a night out. <laughs> was like, it was like inconceivable to me that you'd put time into something. <laughs> I know, dude. It was wild. I was like a, I was a very engaged student. Um, but you, I w- you went to go do blood work because the. Yeah. And are. the worst news possible is that all my blood. blood work came back. <laughs> all my blood work came back great. They were like, oh. they were like everything. And this was a day when I was lightheaded. I was feeling like I had low blood sugar, like I needed to eat. Mm-hmm. Um, and, is, that, is that a thing historic? Like, no, you, no, it's just like and every time I get tested for it, everybody says it's normal. But I feel horrible. And I'm mm-hmm. like breaking out into a sweat. I'm like lightheaded. They're like taking my blood. And I'm like, I don't think I'm going to pass out because I think every time I've had, I felt like this, there's been nothing physiologically or no, there's been nothing like technically wrong with my body, but, but everything feels wrong. So yeah, they take the blood. Everything's fine. Um, and then I'm super hungry, even though I've already eaten. So I like go, uh, uh, do, sorry, just, do they take enough blood for the test you got done? To maybe make to also make you lightheaded, or it's no, I was lightheaded before. Oh, okay, yeah, like I was like, it's a feeling I get where I'll be like, oh no, I need to eat a snack. Like I'm, like I'm like, am I diabetic or something, mm. or is my like blood sugar problems? And I every time I I, I like feel like a hypochondriac because I like get tested mm. for the stuff and then it comes back, everything comes Same back. Same for fine. me with the, with diabetes specifically. I don't know if you have it in your family or not. I don't the, know. Because it's just, I, I, I have the same issue. I'm yeah. not in touch with yeah, the side of, of the family that of family, statistically yeah. would have it more likely. Yeah. I just don't. Seems like it feels Something's like that. Something's going like on. Blood yeah. sugar ain't right. Yeah. And so that day getting tested, I was like, certainly something will show up today if mm-hmm. I get my blood taken. And then um, everything came back normal. And so I just like wrote back to the doctor. I was like, okay. You know, I guess it's good that that, but then I explained like how horrible I've been feeling and um, yada, yada, yada. There was a shortage for my ADHD medication. I couldn't get it uh, yeah. for like two weeks. Um, and that just like threw me off in a way of like, I need really needed to buckle down and like work on something. And I like couldn't. Mm-hmm. I, I was like, I'm mainlining caffeine and shit. And it just like, doesn't It do. feels like before we got diagnosed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I just can't make it happen, man. When it's a long time with it. I mean, this is, I would guess happening, not just with myself and you with a lot of people because of the, yeah. the shortage on all ADHD. Yeah. It yeah. started with amphetamines and then everybody, a bunch of people switched to the others. Cause it was, cause you're not amphetamine, right? Uh, I take Vyvanse. Oh, that is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there wasn't a shortage of, there was like a big Adderall shortage or is. And, um, and it, we were calling all the different chains of pharmacies and they were all out. But Mm. then luckily my pharmacy got it back in the other day. You gotta Um, get my, my little, I was going to say psychopath, my psychiatrist. (laughs) My little psychopath psychopath with his nice house. That gives me, he he gave me the dosage that he knows is uh, easiest to find. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That was like another thing we were talking about. Because my psychiatrist was like, well, if it's getting really bad, we can do the mail order stuff and I can give you like a three month supply. Mm. Like we'll, we'll get it figured out. So she, she's like really great. So a violent still. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, but and you, which you're, you're happy with is like you don't want to change. You're happy. Um, I've tried every stimulant on the market and I have such a bad reaction to most of them that Vyvanse is like the best it got for me. Fair enough. I am still like open to 
alternatives. Recently, I've been considering like taking um, taking it twice a day, where it's like I take it in the morning and then taking it in the afternoon. Because is it extended? It is extended, but my I metabolize it things so it goes through my system so fucking fast yeah. that it like feels like it's not. Uh, and it, this is this is a thing with me with like a lot of stuff where um, going to the dentist they like make my um, like gums numb or, or whatever and they're like that should be enough and I'm like it's not I can Absolutely. feel everything and they're like sorry really? brother not yeah true. <laughs> they're like really interesting one time they had to like take me to a an uh, not an anesthesiologist but a um, the dental version of that. They had to take me to yeah. like a, a dude down the hall because it was in like a big hospital building with like, and the guy happened to be there to like get me numb for a fucking extraction of one of my teeth when I was getting braces because they were like yeah. removing crowding or whatever. I am the guy that does euthanasia. Yeah. <laughs> you need like lethal poison. Literally my dentist was like, I can't do this. I need like, uh, I need to call in reinforcements God, or whatever. Crazy. And then like Hobbs and Shaw bust down the door. <laughs> I, I, I feel crazy when that happens. Cause I'm like, I don't want to look like a baby, but yeah. I, you're drilling my teeth and I can feel it. I that can feels feel wrong all of to it. me. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it all. how you do dentistry. Yeah. Like, uh, I recently had something done where they just did, um, the topical, uh, um, numbing stuff because it was very, it was super mild oh, what like they were paste, doing. Yeah, like they like put it, at, yeah. It's like a, they have like a little gun, but it like shoots a little topical <laughs> Threaten thing. you. Yeah, like. Don't cry. <laughs> yeah, it was like all on top of the gums. Oh, and, and they were like. Uh, Did it work? Yeah. Cool. And it, it wasn't, it wasn't drilling or anything like that that was happening. So I think they would have injected it if it was mm. uh, serious, but they were like, we don't want you to be numb all day. And I was like, trust me, I never have been. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would like to be actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, even for a little bit, I'd like to be numb for the Even for just dentist. a tat, for just a smidge, <laughs> I would like to be numb. And they, um, they, they were like, oh yeah, this should wear off in a few hours. And I'm like, it wore off. <laughs> like, like literally like as I was leaving there, like, and that should stop bothering you, you know, in the next couple hours. No, it's gone. It's yeah. actually gone now. I should mention it was never on at all. Yeah. You know, you're lucky we weren't doing anything intense <laughs> or else I would have been crying out in pain. Um, also, I hate that shit because, you know, if like, uh, you're maybe a little, you're in like a low mood and somebody got your coffee order wrong. It's like, no, that's Yeah. Thank you. Like you're too, not ready to challenge it. Yeah. If the numbing agent didn't work and isn't quite right or something, they're like, hey, just tell me if you can feel this too much. What, with my mouth? Yeah. But that's the worst. Scream and look in pain if I'm drilling I, in your head. <laughs> I, because of my experience with all this like dental numbing thing, I'm so afraid of that like awake during surgery thing oh, that happens yeah. to people. Because I'm like, if any, if it's going to happen to anyone, it's going to happen to me. But- the times I've been put under, I've never had an issue. Go uh, ahead, just stop my heart, do the surgery. Yeah, literally, dude, kill me and then bring me back afterward. <laughs> so anyway, like dealing with that has been frustrating. But one thing I've, I'm proud of myself about is I'm like, like it is entirely possible that I like lose a brand deal because I'm behind on this video. Um, but I'm not letting it sort of, stress me out because I'm doing what I can do and my like I'm trying and I'm fighting like <laughs> like I'm fighting my physical form you know at, at this and I um fortunately it's you know I don't know it's just a thing I can't control like it's stressful and it sucks and it feels bad to think about but at the end of the day I'm like I just can't like uh, do more than, yeah, I, do. than I'm doing right now. I, that's why I don't like the sentiment of procrastination as a general idea. Because yeah. like, it's usually just like, it's usually used to make people feel guilty mm -hmm. about things they're struggling to do. Yeah. Because guilt is not a practical emotion if it doesn't serve you, right? Like I might feel guilty if I steal something because I know I did something bad to yeah. someone. And I should maybe learn from that experience. Whereas, and it should stay with you until you maybe correct it. Like I feel guilty about ghosting is not the right term, but just like like not replying to something kind yeah. of in an argument over text or something. In the rare occasions I've done that, just kind of like distancing myself. Like I just don't. I'm not, I'm just not going to reply. I still feel guilt about that 
because I should probably still reply. It's been yeah, months, but I should probably yeah. reply. Whereas I think a lot of, especially since we got diagnosed with ADHD like late in life, yeah, we're so full of the propaganda that not doing things is a choice always. That the <sighs> yeah, you shouldn't feel guilty about stuff that also hurts you, right? Yeah. Like I want to do the thing. That's what I. I don't want to be tired. I like making videos. I like getting paid by an advertiser. What? None of this serves me. I like hanging out with my friends. <laughs> yeah. Like that's a thing that I've, I've tried to stress to like medical professionals and stuff is that because if you frame it wrong, not even wrong, but if you, if you're not careful, someone will interpret it as maybe you don't like your job. Mm. No. Like taking that to the logical conclusion, I don't like anything <laughs> except for the inside of my fucking eyelids because I want to be asleep all the time. It's yeah. not, it's not about that. I am, there are things that I want to do going and watching a movie with my friends being one of them that I've and, liked before. Yeah. <laughs> I know I've I do liked like before. In it. fact, someone say it's one of my favorite things yeah. to do days ago. Actually. I yeah, enjoyed it. I am just, it is very difficult for me to executively function right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's that. It must be weird. I think maybe for especially mental health professionals or even doctors that are referring you for mental health reviews, it must sometimes be difficult to have to do that with sympathy and not empathy. Right. Like if there's plenty of people of yeah. super, uh, what's the term normative? What's the fucking? Oh, like a neurotypical. Neuro, yeah. Neurotypical the people that just, go into the medical profession and don't at least don't maybe ascribe themselves to be yeah. depressed or relate <laughs> to that, but have to be like, yeah, it sounds like when I'm sad, but from nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're pissed off at you. <laughs> is that what it is? The, um, yeah. So that's, that's been rough, but on feeling the, any better today. Eh, today's fine. The thing is like doing the podcast is always chill, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to get much out of myself after the podcast. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's kind of like, I, I think if I, fo if I have one thing I can do a day, I sometimes get anxiety about if I'm like, I need to write today, but then I need to like take Dipper to the park or something. I'll be worried that like, I accidentally spend my one action a day mm -hmm. on, on the, like I get back and I'm like, oops, no more. I like the tanks went empty by accident. It's like, it is like a turn-based battle system. Yeah. That's what it feels I like. I used all my AP. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. exactly. It's like I have one action point Shit. a day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like you've, but you've got a, a hex on you and it reduces your AP to all your cooldowns are unusable for yeah. a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, Right. It's like taking Dipper to the park has a 24 hour cool. Or it's like, <laughs> it's a 24 hour cooldown on actions in yeah, general. A daily spell. Yeah. Sorry. I can't hang out. Uh, yesterday I took my dog to the park and I'm still <laughs> recovering from that. Sorry. I got a head. I threw a fireball yeah. <laughs> to go to bed. Yeah. I need a long, a, a long rest. Right. But um, I've also been sleeping a ton. Last night I had a crazy dream where I was like, I don't, I didn't even know I was in some sort of dystopian situation where I was attacked. Like I was, uh, I, I remember like be hanging out somewhere and then somebody was like, get in the tent, there's a bomb. And then I had to like run and jump into a tent. And then like some, like uh, somehow the tent was like, uh, a good tent. some sort of bomb shelter or whatever. Really good tent. And it like protected me. And then like everyone died that wasn't in the thing. And ah. then we were in some sort of like dystopian hellscape. And I was, uh, was I, yeah. oh yeah, you were, <laughs> you didn't make it, man. Dude, how are we going to do the podcast? Yeah, I know. That, that was one of the things I was fr uh, sad about. I hope our <laughs> patrons are okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. Uh, was it like one of those, was it a nightmare or it was just like an, the vibes are off kind of dream. It, I wouldn't call it a nightmare because like nightmares, I feel like I wake up and like, a, yeah. you know what I mean? But it was very much a, like just a bad, it was like a dystopian dream. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, How's your sleep's good. Yeah. My sleep's been good. Like it, like it's been a good schedule. I just like go to like last night I went to bed at 11 and oh I woke God, up legend. At, I know. And I woke Fuck. up at 
eight thirty. Damn, dude, is this guy raising a family right now? I know now? that's is what I'm saying. I'm like, son of yours. Dude, you have no idea how frustrating it is to feel like you're doing everything right on mm. paper. I'm like eating well. I'm sleeping well. And then uh, I can't, like, nothing works. My brain yeah. doesn't, like, function. Um, but all that being said, a lot of that stuff is just, like, normal. So the week wasn't not too out of the ordinary. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we grind. We rise and grind. Um, I do feel like a broken record, though, sometimes when I'm, like, not able to do things. Oh, but going back to the taking... ADHD medication twice a day. It's literally because sometimes I won't take my medication in the morning and uh, I'll like be going out. Like I was going out to go see a movie on a date. Have I talked about this yet? I went to go see uh, was this? Elephant Man. <laughs> I don't know. The David Lynch Wait, movie? Wait, the, the original Elephant Man? The original Elephant Man <laughs> in like 35 uh, millimeter. Oh, it was like, it was a mini a show. Kind of yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Um, I also got the sick Ava poster at the theater, but, but. Oh, you and Gillian. Yeah. Oh, right. I, but knowing I was going to see like a sad old movie at like 7 PM, I was like, I will, f I'm going to fall asleep. Yeah. So I took my Vivance at like 7 PM and was fine. And I went, I went to bed at like a normal hour that day, but all I wanted was like the ability to get out of bed and like get in the shower. I, I, it's not, it, it is like semi common for people to do the, the two extended right where it's mm. like a, it's, a, it's a rhythm in the middle. So the middle dosage is a little extra stronger because they're kind of meeting each other. Yeah. But I, it's different for everyone, dude. Yeah. But at least at this point in my life, I don't feel like Adderall keeps me awake. Yeah, I feel like it gets me to bed at a reasonable time. Yeah, because I don't just feel that like I'm just on the couch. Yeah, Ugh, what am I? Get? I have to brush my teeth today <laughs> of wow. all days, but that's, I'm already sitting down. <laughs> that's how I know something's wrong because mm. I'm like, oh, I don't want to. I, I I getting out of my bed, bed to brush my teeth instead of just going to sleep is like the hardest thing to do. Oh, dude, like uh, like putting. I know how unpleasant it's going to be to put my Invisalign on if I leave it off for more than a few hours yeah. at most. And I will sit in bed, like I'll spend day after day after day, leave it off for 10 hours at a time. Not only that, I have a risk of like my teeth fucking falling out. It's such a bad idea. Yeah. You got to keep doing it. So yeah. something's wrong. It's not benefiting me. Right. It's not like right, it's right. fun no, to leave no, no. them out. Um, so all that being said, I want to completely tone shift uh, by talking about this trend on, on Twitter that is like, what's the funniest TikTok you've ever seen? Have you been seeing that go viral? Okay, it's great. So it's just people posting TikToks. And to be completely honest, most of them I see, I don't even laugh. I don't even smirk because mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of content. Okay. Guess what? I'm funny. That's I'm right. I'm funny too. Post mine. Yeah. Yeah. Where are my TikToks <laughs> that don't exist? With me and my friend. Um, <laughs> We're but, hanging out with Chad Chad, so post that. <laughs> yeah, post when I was hanging out with my friends. <laughs> but one, this is a TikTok from two years ago that I did see when it was originally going viral and then forgot. And then it found me again. Uh, like it's my one true joy, my one true calling. This, and I'm not even, I'm not even concerned about overselling it. This is probably the funniest TikTok I've okay. ever seen. Um, also my week, I finished Tears of the Kingdom. And I've just been watching basketball. That's been my cycle. So today, like your, your Zen state. Yeah, dude. Today, uh, there's it's game three of the finals. The Heat, the underdogs. They just they just brought it back to one one. It's incredible to watch. Obviously, Jokic is the goat. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been doing. I've been watching basketball and playing Zelda. And then I finished Tears of the Kingdom, and I was still on the Zelda kick. So now I'm playing Ocarina enough time. <laughs> uh, Oh, happy pride. Oh, yeah. Happy pride. Hey. Hey. And that's only to you. No one else. It's to one person in the audience. Just you. Just, just you. you. You know the you. Alex. O'Brien. <laughs> All right. Well, now we've narrowed it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the third. <laughs> Conan. <laughs> Esquire. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, what uh, if? So the top comment is Alex O'Brien, <laughs> the Conan hell? the Third Esquire, going, "Yo, this is a weird episode yeah. for me. <laughs> it's kind of messed up, actually." Um, so, have you ever seen this? No. Oh, oh this that's even more exciting. Music to my ears. Ah, okay, I'm so excited to show you my new favorite thing. 
milk tea. I had it for the first time today. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> I had it already for the first time today and it was so good. I went back and I was like, please, can I have some more? Oh, hold on, it's hot. Oh, it's hot in here. I'm from Texas, y'all. Oh, God damn it, I'm out of fuel. Anyway, um, milk tea is so good. She said I had to try the babas at this time. So I had the little, she said to shake it and I think it's supposed to be soft. But I'm obsessed. You just poke a hole in it. <laughs> oh my god, it choked on something! What the fuck? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, what happened? Uh, did he hit he the boba? He didn't know what the boba was. For the audio listeners, I, at, I'll find the exact second. At a, you can see the moment his heart breaks. At exactly 44 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I guess on his first try of the Bobas. they offered him milk tea without the boba. I guess by so. default, or they he must have said, "Oh, can I have a milk tea?" Because sure, tea. I've been here. Uh, yeah. There's one in the Metreon in San Francisco, mm -hmm. and uh, like he probably was just like, "Oh, I'll have a milk tea," and they're like, "Do you want that with boba?" And he's like, "What's that?" Probably. And he's like, "No, not this time." Yeah. And then he was like, "Oh, that was so good," and they're like, "Oh, you've got to try the boba." And but, <laughs> yeah, but make sure not to inhale it, by the way. There's so many elements of this. Well, his mistake was that he thought it was going to dissolve. Well, oh, so yeah, again, for the audio listeners, he, he is a, a, a very handsome man sat in his car being surprised by uh, one of the most prolific products I think currently available on the market. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is this, a chicken burger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, hold uh, on. But then he pierces the boba with the boba straw, the most satisfying thing in the world. Yeah. And on the first sip, just inhales one of the bits of boba. <laughs> and it turns into like a Cupid spout <laughs> statue, just yeah. firing boba, like he smog. Explodes. <laughs> <laughs> like he erupts like a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> he fires molten boba isn't so it? i this actually has so this is like a three act drama <laughs> it has so many it's perfect i've i like went i went and looked at this person's tiktok this is like an earnest tiktok like mm. i've looked at a bunch of their tiktoks and like it's it's not like they're not in on it right there's so much to this. This person has an electric personality. They have a fantastic personality. But all of the bits of, of context you get about them throughout this are so funny. It's so funny that their car just like, they're an alien. It's like they've never interfaced with their car either. Like yeah. all the things that are going the, wrong. Right. Like, Everything's what going what wrong. Like, literally, it's like, you, they're probably like caffeined out because they just are getting their second like <laughs> black tea, milk tea of the day. He looks so happy. He it's, is, it's, it is great storytelling because it's like a Greek tragedy. Yeah. You must first have it all. There's, yeah, no, he's <laughs> on top of the world. Milk tea. I had it for the first time today. Okay, wait, hold on. But this is how it feels to have milk tea for the first time. And you know, lethal. <laughs> you, I, I, I was immediately obsessed with milk tea. I, what do you when you're having boba? By the way, are you lifting the straw up a little bit to avoid? Because I don't immediately want too much boba. Because when there's a lot at the bottom, oh, it's all boba in the first. Sip. I use my tongue as a stopper, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll be like, "How many bobas we? How many little uh, tapioca pearls are we getting here?" I think the straw should be bigger. Genuinely, I think it should be mm -hmm. big enough to accommodate a boba and more liquid. Yeah, you need like a a little attachment, like a sippy cup attachment to it, where you mm. can just just get the tea. You know, I think I want like three tapioca balls <laughs> in, in boba. After Huge. the first few, it's like, all right, yeah. I was like, okay, we get the bit. Okay, you don't have to keep doing it. And then you get to the end, you're like, but I paid for it. I guess I'll have them. Yeah, <laughs> you get to the end. So yeah, you get to the end, and then it's ice. It's like ice water, and then you're just <laughs> chewing boba. Yeah, it, for way longer than the drink took to finish. No, by far. and it does give you a little like hobby to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. The end of your coffee is just full of beans. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> it's like when you drink like a like a chocolate milk or something, and then there's chocolate at the bottom, oh, yeah. and you're like, "Well, I'm not going to do anything with that." I do like chocolate. <laughs> yeah. I had it already for the first time today and it was so good. I went True. back and I was like, please, can I have some more? Oh, hold on. It's hot. Okay, yeah, it's it's hot. Ooh, it's hot in here. Turns on the AC. I'm from Texas, y'all. 
Oh god damn it! I'm out of fuel. <laughs> How? <laughs> what out do you mean? Fuel. <laughs> How did you get out of fuel? The AC was so powerful. Yeah. <laughs> the battery absorbed all the you fuel. You imagine wanting Boba so bad, you ignore all. <laughs> like your car's like, excuse me, I can only drive for a little bit longer. Hey, nope. how's it going? The engine fell out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Check it? engine. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Check wheels. Anyways, um, milk tea is so good. She said I had to try the babas. <laughs> well, she didn't say that, did she? She said I have to try the babas, and so that's awesome. She, so he, she said boba, and he went no. Yeah, that was wrong. There's yeah. no way the employee said boba. You know it. <laughs> At this time, so I have the little. She said to shake it, and I think they're supposed to dissolve. <laughs> oh, no. And that's where you were. Well, they wrong. definitely haven't yet, have they? Give it, keep no, shaking if that's yeah. what you believe. I think they're supposed to dissolve. Why? But I'm obsessed. You just. <gasps> that's so satisfying. Dude, he camouflaged it. That's why. When he was spinning it, because now the boba's out of view oh, for him. Oh, yeah. But he, when he was shaking it enough, it did. they did appear yeah, to disappear. Yeah, he thought it was all gone. And then he was like, I have, I'm perfect to just Batman suck. Batman disappeared in the smoke only to reappear. Yeah, and he's hot. He's probably parched. He probably wants to get like a nice big like <laughs> slurp got, in just there. Just got his pump on. Yeah. Pulling it. <laughs> Oh my god, I choked on something. Something. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the three uh, things in there. <laughs> I've got a, I'll take a swing. Something I choked on. Yeah. What's the only difference between the last one I had and this one? <laughs> Dude, I can't even Get it? The projectile power is crazy. <laughs> so funny. Like, I've, this is maybe the sixth or seventh time I watched this today. <laughs> I, I saw this this morning. I was laughing in my bed. I went downstairs to show it to Jacob while he was setting up. <laughs> I was like, we're going to show this to Jordan, but I need to experience this with you s separately first. How does he get I went it? back up, watched it again. <laughs> How does he send it that far? Wait, show me that again. Because it's also up. He's using like his glottis. You just oh, poke a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, I choked uh, on something. I should have my 3D glasses on, dude. <laughs> it's like, I, this is, <laughs> if you put this in a try not to laugh, I would lose, oh, dude. Oh, game over, yeah. I like, usually. With I, a gun to my family's head, yeah, there's just no world. There's just something so, oh, it's so good. I was it rough out, yeah. <laughs> My car! My car! Oh my god! Oh my god! He really did aim it at the console. Yeah. Fuck off! What the <laughs> fuck did I choke? Okay. Oh, he's still at the end. It's like, what was I choking on? Oh, it coots to say, mate. And so, the mystery will never be solved. I will say, uh, this is from John Michael Says Hi. They did make um, a, a follow up, them trying Boba not making a mistake going, you know, a, mm -hmm. a look, I can do it. And, uh, has made a number of memes about oh, themselves. So that's why I feel like it's okay to like laugh about it. Yeah. Uh, well, kind, kind or yeah. laugh. Cause it's like, we're laughing with them now. This is my fucked up. Yeah. I've never tried this. Is it better to drink Boba without a straw? What? I feel like I could regulate my boba experience a lot better without this straw. Yeah, you would have to. I'd have get to have to the about boba. half of it first. For yeah, sure. but then you'd have to peel off the. I feel like yeah, that they, they like maximum security prisons use the <laughs> adhesive that they then they get the the film on top of the, the Dude, boba cup with. When they put that shit on, it's like surgery. Yeah, they never miss. That's so cool. Isn't it like a machine that does it? The place I go near me is uh, they just they do it live. They just slap it on. Sticker mode. And it's a franchise, so I, I guess they all... It wasn't a shared tea, I'll say that much. Someone said he's so obviously faking it for this, it pisses me off to watch it. You've been on the subreddit, nothing ever happens. No. It's just like, yeah, those kind of reply oh, where it's just yeah. like... <laughs> nothing ever happens. You just don't have any life experience or yeah. memories, that's why. You're like, wow, that looked like fun, there's no way that happened. It's like, if if... If that was fake, I don't care if it's fake. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. 
It's, it, and it is also always the people that are like, yeah, no way that happened. It's like, it, it wasn't like he was then like, oh my God, Einstein's outside and he's applauding me. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, I, I almost got in a collision, but thankfully the the driver swerved out the way. It's so like, funny no because like it, it's a generation where everyone has a phone. Everyone has like, is, is kind of conditioned to like turn themselves into content. Yeah. And and we're filming, we're filming strangers, we're filming ourselves. <laughs> of course, there's going to be lots of examples of things happening. There should be way more of this. Yeah. You, by the way, like it, I know we're, we're boomer mode. I know we've officially gone boomer mode. Yeah. In this stage in our lives, but it's, in our jobs are posting. What we do is post. It is beyond me that I would like get a product I'm excited about to try and post put my phone on the stand <laughs> record me doing it like that's just like that could never happen it's, it's like never I, I, I wouldn't want to clean so badly that i would never do anything like that <laughs> man i can't find so if i'm not getting boba time i look like shit <laughs> i'm gonna look so bad we have a few i feel like half segments of the show we've got like how is your week which is just how normal people have conversations <laughs> And then um, that's that's the ultimate. Like, should we stop catching up and do it on the podcast one? Right. You know what I mean? Like, hey, what have you been up to? Stop. Stop. No, we can't. That's no. content. CPM. Um, there's the bad podcast of the week segment, which uh, <laughs> Jacob has graciously pulled one. So I have no idea what this is going to be. So yeah, the bad podcast of the week. There's they're everywhere. Day is six a.m. to noon, and I'm not crazy. You're crazy for thinking it takes twenty four hours, just like some dude in a cave did three hundred years ago. My second day starts at noon and goes till six p.m. That's day two. And then the next day is 6 p.m. to midnight. What I've done now is I have changed and manipulated time. I now get 21 days a week. Stack that up over a month, I'm going to kick your butt. Mm. Stack it up over a year, you're toast. Stack it up over five years, my entire life is different than it would have been otherwise. <laughs> we lost him. He's gone. <laughs> it's not, is it? <laughs> it's, it's not... It's not more days. <laughs> it's, not, it's not more. I think uh, it's, it's just not. More it's days. not more days. Is the thing. <laughs> that is deranged. <laughs> That's crazy. What do you mean? <laughs> um. Wait. His day starts at six a.m. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's <laughs> noon. And then that's day one. <laughs> but it's not <laughs> day two. Is noon to six p.m. Right. And then 6 p.m. to midnight is day three. Okay. But then I guess the the third day is is 12 hours long because then you sleep and you wake <laughs> yeah. up. Right? No, he only sleeps six hours a day. That's all he needs. Well, I guess he sleeps. Uh, he sleeps for a full day every <laughs> That's kind of depressing. Yeah. Every fourth day he sleeps the whole thing. Right. Um, that is par like that's parody level. That's what you need to do to be successful. <laughs> what, 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 no, my my days can beat yours because they're longer. Yeah, and I sleep eight hours. So my days are way. And better. I'm and I'm fine. <laughs> I get to game out. Loser. Who's this guy? I don't even know. Is what this his a name fakey? Is. Do we think it's a fakey pod? Like um, a like a just a shot of a guy. It's definitely looks like a talk. The podcast is real. The guy is kind of sketchy. <laughs> that, I mean, who could have guessed? My day is 6 a.m. to noon, and I'm not crazy. You're crazy. These guys always, the really wonky ones, like the really mental ones, always look like professional wrestlers. Like, I'm like yeah, crazy. they do. They always look like, he looks like The Undertaker, and I love The Undertaker, but yeah. he looks like him. Also, don't lead with, and I'm not crazy. <laughs> you <laughs> are already responding. No not one crazy. said that. And I'm not crazy. <laughs> 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 yeah, he should be lifting someone up with by their neck while he yeah, says it. And I'm not crazy. Yeah, if you put him in like the Magneto outfit, it just feels like it works. <laughs> Charles, yeah. I'm not crazy. In his Charles. Instagram, he yeah. lists himself as top five speaker in the world. Is speaker? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is his Instagram? Oh, he just has really good it's speakers. Ed Milet. Oh, what? Ed right, you said Milet. that. Ed Milet. Milet. E D M Y L -E Ed Milet. No, you, you you wrote it, Jacob, in the the thing. Thank You're you. You're a fan, I think. I guess. 
Yeah, so you'll see I follow. What was the, uh, what was the channel? Was it, oh, Laws, Laws of, wealth. of Wealth. All right, Ed Milet, entrepreneur. I'm going to start describing my week in terms of the episodes. Why does this? So I have a two-day week. <laughs> Why does he kind of look like a Joe Rogan variant? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. They're just like a different rare candy. It's like Universe 3 uh, Joe Rogan. You give them rare candy, and then you can choose which element you want them to use. Yeah. Yeah, no, this guy's looking more and more like Joe Rogan the more I... Fun. He looks like... Joe Rogan ate Nick Lachey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fear Factor crossover. Yeah. What's up? what he's getting? Bigger. Oh, and he looks like Doctor <laughs> Phil here. Yeah, unless that the is the background Dr. Phil. is contributing. I think. Oh, what the hell? Why is in every like? Oh, hang on. Is that him in a boxing? Ah, no shot. Rats. That's not him. Okay. It's not him in a boxing match. Okay. God, so is he using that thick neck product that like Joe Rogan, you seen that photo where he's like stretching against the resistance band that's on his head to build neck. <laughs> gotta build neck. To become the throat goat. Oh, he's got a Twitter. Oh. Okay. So as someone who, I mean, I don't post my own tweets very often. I think I've done it before though. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. You don't want to give them exposure. Right. But this type of guy, when you post, if you post a shit post, I'm I'm with it. I love following Instagram accounts that post tweet shit posts. But if you're posting your own inspirational quotes, I don't know, man. Yeah, especially without like, I can maybe get behind actual interesting photo or selfie, Twitter post. Another interesting photo, Twitter post. Like a little bit of spice and flavor. Yeah. Are these single posts or are these galleries of his tweets? Oh, that's a good question. Well, this one has an arrow, so I assume it's a gallery, but it doesn't show. Wait, that one on the top left did numbies. Can, wait, can I just show that this is like a Bob Marley, Steph Curry fusion? Oh, yeah, plus Johnny Depp. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's happening? Dr Depp drip. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's doing numbers, dude. And what was the like? Oh, 31,364 likes. One of the... Do I sound like him? One of the most. One of the most insidious... Wait, what does it say? One of the most insidious forms of child neglect is a parent who doesn't chase their dreams and wait. wait he's a parent that doesn't chase. Yeah. So their if you're a parent who's not chasing your dreams and potential, that's neglecting your child. Yeah. By like not being not by not having 21 days a week, <laughs> you're, that's child neglect. By not like educating a child that there's 21 days a week yeah. and breaking their brain. Yeah, my child is failing his <laughs> time class. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> time class. Time, welcome to time class. All right, wait. So there's this rule. There's 20 minutes, 30 minutes. My morning routines are really detailed. Um, I get up and I hydrate. The second thing I do every morning is I do something cold. Something cold. <laughs> So whether that's I jump in the ocean because now I live in the ocean, but in those days it was taking a cold shower or splash. Sir, hold was on, <laughs> hold Sorry. on. You, he he let the mask slip for a second. He's like, oh, but I'm not an Atlantean. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, obviously, so, sorry. No, I. Uh... I jump in the ocean because I live underwater. I mean, uh, I. I'm sorry. not a fish that became a man. No, no, no. I, I was not cursed by a witch. I'm. Why does he look like he has a buzz cut that's slicked back? <laughs> <laughs> How do you even do that, dude? How do you do that? Yeah, he's got that, I think you should leave. His slicks. morning routine for each of the days with him. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. You're not allowed to talk about the morning. He's not allowed to talk about the phases of a day. The if, morning is two hours long. Yeah. <laughs> Your morning is like an hour and a half. Dude, the best time of the day is uh, 6 p.m. sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> when I uh, get out of the ocean where I live and walk onto land. Yeah, like uh, one of like my the first land dwelling creatures. I spent one of my three days in the ocean <laughs> visiting my wife. It's just some cold water in my face or walking out when it was cold. It shocks our nervous system. Our fight or flight kicks in. We're so all of these guys talk about this. Mm. I'm too much of a wimp to do it. Have you ever tried the cold stuff? I used to do a... Uh, used to Taking do a cold shower? Cold... Uh, uh, so it's just some like pretentious name, like contrast shower. I think it was. Mm. I got into that uh, when we still worked together at Patreon. Yeah, because I was having just like, you know, fatigue, but also I was almost always late to work. I was like a little, little all over the shop, and yeah. I wanted something to activate. Tell you what, mate, it does work, but it feels a little like chiropractic, mm. where it works in the moment because it's just like a satisfying thing that does. I, I, I didn't feel as though my day was made better as a result. Right, right, it right. It felt like a nice way to kind of spice up my morning and a kind of a fun thing to get better at. But I don't do it anymore and I don't feel worse the whole day because of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels very um, like a 
what are those things? Uh, nootropics. Yeah. Because like taking, you know, taking a nootropic and being like, yeah, yeah, I'm doing, I'm working on my cool brain. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I, I agree. It's also, it's grind culture, I feel like. It is always it, grind like culture. It's like unpleasant, so yeah. it's cool. This guy's for sure on like a, like a, he's for sure juicing, right? Yeah, and this also looks, is this like Good Morning America? What is this say? Yeah, I don't know. We're in a cellular, electric, alive state. I obviously do some prayer and meditation every single morning. I've still not touched my telephone. So there's a rule. There's 30 minutes I cannot touch my telephone when I wake up. That's the hardest thing to do in the world and the thing that could benefit you the most because what's ever on that phone, you have to react to. And typically it's stuff that's not great. And so I Whoa. don't touch that. I, I do my meditation and my prayer and um, I do some stretching. <laughs> it's like, it's a little bit of a self-report. I know what he's yeah. trying to say. He's like social media, like is, has a negativity bias or whatever. Emails. But, but I feel like when I look at my phone, I'm laughing. I'm, I'm laughing yeah. my ass off at the fucking Boba guy. I think, <laughs> Bobas. I think maybe, maybe uh, this guy needs to curate his notification center a little bit. Yeah. Or oh, hey man, put on do not disturb. How about that? And don't don't look at your emails until you're standing up. You know what I mean, there's a little but you see these little disciplines like that aren't marketable. They're not cool in the way that like yeah. every morning I wake up and put a bunch of needles in my head, I jump off a cliff directly into the ocean, I visit my fish wife, I set myself <laughs> every, on fire. Every day I break my phone in half. There's <laughs> no piece of phone. technology is gonna drive my life. Also, okay? how, how often does this guy get in a cold plunge if it's every day? Three, <laughs> like he's cold plunging three times. He's a always cold. <laughs> yeah. Secret. Is he showering a quarter of the time, <laughs> yeah, technically? Most, in fact, every week he spends a full day in the shower. <laughs> um, I love him. What channel, what's the E? Oh, Ed Milo. Oh, it's a little Milo. logo. It's fun. I was terrified when I opened his Instagram page to find that three people I know follow him. Oh, really? Fuck, yeah. Name and shame, Jacob. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. Are They're they back home? In, oh, okay. Are they in the the sphere of like kind of manosphere people or like? I will say two of them are um, like weightlifting trainers. Are they following Jordan Peterson by any chance? Most likely. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Um, let me see who, who I know who's I following say, I, him. We, we should say, by the way, I like some of the most wonderful people I know are very rise and grindy in healthy ways. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I almost feel like these are a little like how obnoxious wellness marketing culture has ruined just like eating well and like being nice to yourself. Yeah. I almost feel like rise and grind guys ruin the real experience of enjoying your work and making a nice morning routine and things like that. But I wish that I could like have good sleep hygiene without also like, you know, buying one of Joe Rogan's kettlebells that looks like, <laughs> looks like a ball sack or whatever he sells, you know? Um, I'm selling cum pills that make you come every day all the time. No, stop. Please, no, <laughs> that's the hardest thing to do in the world <laughs> is to be coming all the time. <laughs> have you seen that clip of Arnold Schwarzenegger from Pumping Iron, like his, the original documentary that made him famous no. in like the 70s? He's just... We should pull it. I, we should look just at pull these it weak up, boys yeah. on their phones. No, I was pulling this is up the, the hardest Ed, thing. I was pulling up the Ed Meyer Milet uh, oh, yes. followers, and so it's like there's one person that I think you know also, Jacob. Uh, then the one guy that I, back home, Gary V, who I follow for some reason, um, probably for content. I have some very funny Gary V posts that I've been saving. Do you have a? You ever talk? I haven't talked talk about, about it on nights, maybe. I haven't talked. Uh, I think we may have talked about it on nights. In fact, I do have some more Gary <laughs> Gary B tea to spill. Really? On Sad Boys Nights, our Patreon exclusive episode that will be uh, right after right after we end this one. They were allowed to be a little less cautious on and say cheeky as shit. That <laughs> yeah. should probably be confidential. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're gonna call that another kind of annoying internet person that everybody seems to love that I just can't like. One of these guys is fucking. Uh, What's his name? He just came up for a second. Uh, David Goggins. Oh, yeah. He's like an OG one. Yeah. And like people are just like, he's so sick. He ran till his feet fell off. I'm just like, he like ran a charity mile or something yeah. for the Marines. And he, both his legs broke and he kept running and it's just stuff like this. And I'm like, that's not admirable. That's just yeah. like being addicted and you obsessive. You should have stopped. You should have. Yeah. Your legs were actually telling you to stop. 
you can believe it. Um, That's what I was like, them falling. You know off who ran an, ran an ultra marathon recently? Cody Co. Yeah, <laughs> and he's dude. not doing the like rise and grind stuff. He's just like, hey, this is my hobby. It's like a pretty well adjusted guy. By only yeah, thing. we're talking on the pod. No. Oh yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah. What do you know? Yeah. Wow. Oh, th- wait. Wow. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, this. You ever seen this? No. It's nice. Maybe I've heard about it. So the mistake I made very early on is I set up Sad Boys highlights on the Sad Boys Pod Gmail. Mm-hmm, yeah. I should have set it up on under the sort of the, Jarvis Cinematic Universe yeah, of all the channels or whatever, because yeah. I have uh, YouTube Premium on on that, and so it means I have YouTube Premium on all of those accounts. And when I'm on this specific one, mm-hmm. I don't have it. I let me tell you, I hopped in. Uh, hey, she, uh, she's she's listening actually because she called us out for. Uh, 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 making fun of her, I think, uh, uh, one time, and then like we didn't listen. But sandwich, oh. we, uh, I hopped into a stream. I rated her, hopped in there, and uh, a couple times when she opened a video, she got an ad because oh. she was logged into the wrong account. And let me tell oh. you, what a little, what a wonderful little time I had calling her out. Um, which is like, by the way, no one needs YouTube Premium, uh, but we work in this space <laughs> yeah. so it's like it, 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 it if we didn't sense. we'd have to have this conversation every single time we watched a video yeah 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 it was arnold schwarzenegger in his 1977 documentary pumping iron uh and he's pumping iron if you can believe it okay he's pumping iron god he looks good doesn't he he does <laughs> i'm pumping iron it's still the greatest him and liver king <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's such a big vein. He was also public about steroids, which I really appreciate. Yeah. It's like, the greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym is the pump. Let's say you drain your biceps. Blood is rushing into your muscles, and that's what we call the pump. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, as uh, having sex. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the score doesn't change the tone stays he's, like, yeah, it's casual he's saying the most normal thing to, to him it com- it's like coming is it's with a woman and coming okay <laughs> so can you believe how much I'm in heaven I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym I'm getting the feeling of coming at home <laughs> I was not expecting him to kick you. I don't know if he it. means like just having sex at home. <laughs> or it's just very funny if he means jacking off. <laughs> He's like, I can masturbate every <laughs> anytime I want. <laughs> anytime I want. This is like heaven. <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm a Coming backstage when I pump up, when I pose out in front of 5,000 people, I get the same feeling. So I'm coming day and night. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. 6 a.m. to noon, I'm, I'm coming. Yeah, three days three days a day, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's, Terrific, well, I right? shouldn't. He does a bad shit. But. So, you know, I'm in heaven. He That's, would love the nut lady. Yeah, he would love the nut lady. <laughs> Dude, why fat her? We, he, she's met her match. We've done it. The governator himself. Um, if you're going to be steroids, you got to at least look like him. That's my opinion. Yeah, literally. If not, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Hold your big talk. Eating exercises, and then at that point, I allow myself to enter the world after I've got my state controlled, and I work out every morning, except for Sundays. I work out every morning. When Sunday, mate? Which Sunday of the four? Yeah, yeah. Which of the yeah three Sundays? God, I'm just I can't stop dwelling on that because that's mental. <laughs> that is mental. Like the, saying it with. If it weren't for the fact that there's all these obvious, like, very sincere posts now, that would be a very funny parody. Oh, yeah. Just being like, yeah, there's, I rise and grind so hard that I, I never sleep. I'm like a cheese grater. I'm grinding yeah. off my own, head, my own head. I'm ground. He. Crappy day? Do, what, do yeah. this. <laughs> what? Crappy day. Anything that could go wrong has gone wrong. Technology broke down. Important meetings rescheduled. How does he simultaneously look like Alex Jones, Joe Rogan? <laughs> it's wild. Like, yeah, uh, The Undertaker. It's like Rorschach's mask. Yeah. Just shifting around. <laughs> like Dr. Phil. Like, he looks like all these people at He's once. the physical manifestation of a podcast. Yeah. One or two totally unexpected things that were crap. So- what is with this audio? It's crazy. It's like his mic or something. It's crazy that he... Would have listened back to it and gone, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, but this I is do. intended. Three things. One, it helps you. One, I'm trusting my normal process. 
not getting off my process too. I went and worked out an extra 20 minutes, changed my physiology, changed my state. And now when I'm working, I just put on really music that inspires me. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I put on some really music. <laughs> yeah, okay. This isn't, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't bad. <laughs> nice. This one's all right. This is, this is fine. This one, all I've got to say is making fun of somebody's phrasing and I fuck up phrasing all the time. Hey, come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes this, I fuck up so bad I sound British. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know what to tell you about that. Um, <laughs> overcome your hidden addiction to achievement. If you're not at least at multiple seven figures in this world, you are still broke. Trust me. You need to be in a big damn hurry. <laughs> Time is running out on you. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. For you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for me there's 25 <laughs> there's 250,000 seconds in a day it's like, it almost seems unfair doesn't it he's got so much more time Hold it's not on. fair did I do the math right these are the questions I my brain asked me oh, I guess there's fewer seconds in a day no but there's more uh, uh, oh because I was just tripling it in my joke because we were saying 21 days that's not fair he's cheating <laughs> Stop lying to yourself. Wait, what's the emoji? 259,000. He's still got it. What's the fuck? What's the emoji he's using? Oh, it's the Pinocchio growing nose emoji. Oh, yeah. That's fun. The separator between me and you and people that win and lose is what we do with those seconds. <laughs> and you're too slow. You're Typing. too cool. You're too casual. You think too much. You're too happy. You're too unbothered about making multiple seven figures. You're spending time with your son. You're gardening. You're my grandma. <laughs> Why are you not... Richer, Grandma. You're having dinner. You're sleeping. You're How are you happy like this? You're at the gym. You're coming. So <laughs> <laughs> you're going home and you're coming. <laughs> that would be so sick. That's his speech. <laughs> he comes back around. Can you imagine I'm in heaven? My Schwarzenegger is criminal. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Kermit. crazy. That was Kermit. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> I don't I'm coming. Mate, why is mine so bad? What the fuck? Isn't it's like the most prolific impression in the world? Why can't I do that? I can only, I can only do Schwarzenegger going. Yeah. So what's funny is that he did that right, but then he also made a video called "Overcome Your Hidden Addiction to Achievement." There's one addiction that I see become so prevalent in our culture today that I do not see being discussed in the business world or in the personal development, the self-help world, because it's a scary topic to touch on. There can become an addiction to achievement that becomes- Yes! Why do you think that is, Ed Milet? Who do you, you think just promoting told us that? We're not fucking working hard enough when we don't have multiple seven figures. <laughs> Why is he never in the same location twice? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is this? He's on the grind. He's on the move. He's one of the top five. He's speakers. coming. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's giving a speech. He's coming. He's grinding. He's <laughs> coming. <laughs> He's addicted to Xbox Live. He's addicted to coming. <laughs> Becomes very unhealthy. If you're always focused on the product you're producing and the achievement that you must have, you lose focus over the pro An What's achievement the like making multiple seven figures, I might? Waking up four times a day. These or are back-to-back -back Instagram posts. I don't under-fucking-stand, dude. <laughs> you are implanting this in fucking 2.6 million followers' brains. Hey, you've got to stop buying this heroin from me. You are, <laughs> Why yeah, do you this keep is... doing this and while he loads the needle? <laughs> You've yeah. you got to stop taking this stuff, there's man. That, there's a John Mulaney bit in his newest special about how he uh, was in rehab and he asked his drug dealer, um, hey, how did you become a drug dealer anyway? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't one and you just kept asking me for drugs. <laughs> well, I feel like this is a good place to wrap because uh, our, we've done both our recurring segments. We've done both of our recurring segments. Uh, we this, this is recorded over just the first day of our day. And for the second day of our day, we'll be recording our Patreon exclusive bonus podcast. Yeah, we have to go Sabbath get nights. and do something cold. <laughs> We're going to go vague as that. We're going to go jump in the California snow <laughs> <laughs> real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening. To <laughs> keep, keep it all in. It has to stay <laughs> seamless. And people say we're amateurs. What are Thank you talking you. about? Um, thanks so much for listening to Sad Boys. We are available not only on YouTube, but we're available on everywhere podcasts are sold, but it's free. That, that, that's a humorous joke. Mm, your premium or whatever. Your huh? premium or whatever. And then there's also a highlights channel where you can look at shorts, highly edited shorts from your favorite moments from the podcast. Also uh, long form edited cut downs of episodes. So like a little commentary video. 
Um, and uh, but that- you can actually watch the video. Not a lot of people know this. You can watch the video version of the podcast on Spotify. Oh, so if you are a person who does not have YouTube premium, which is like most people, um, and you want to listen in the background, which is something that YouTube mobile app doesn't let you do unless you are a YouTube premium subscriber, then you could just sucks. listen on Spotify. Not to get you to go over there, but I want people to know that, you know, you can do anything. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you serious? <laughs> hey, man, do you, what about me? Um, you well, can... you, you, the thing is, I have three times as many days as you. No, that's not fair, man. Yeah, I so. can't do anything. My day's too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm EP. <laughs> stupid days. It's so to, long. And I'm trying to get eight hours of sleep, so I have to do that in six hours, which seems unfair. <laughs> right. Um, but this is it, right? There's no additional content, say, every week in, in any location, right? No, no, no. There is additional content on patreon.com slash sadboys. That's where we do an additional extra full length bonus podcast that's called what, Sadboys Nights. That's what the recording we do is for. Right. Right. We've been recording that it. That makes sense. Of Today, yeah. we're we going to do something fun. No. Well, we were talking about... <laughs> No, this one's going to be. We're talking about maybe watching a Jubilee video. Yeah, going old school. Um, what was? Check the slides again. I feel like there was a thing in there. Maybe. Bam, bam, bam! Checking the slides. Bam, Checking bam, the slides. Bam. Looking at the slides. <laughs> Looking at the slides. <laughs> Here I go to the slides. We'll talk about the time that I met uh, the musical recording artist Robin Thicke, <laughs> and. <laughs> Uh, and I, I showed him Google glass and he proceeded to be a bad person. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you can get that story along with a photo of the two of you together. Along with a photo of me and Robin Thicke where he's wearing Google glass and I'm not making this up. <laughs> Patreon.com slash sad boys. Patreon.com slash sad boys. Anyway, we end every episode of sad boys with a particular phrase. We love you. And we're sorry. Boom. Boom. And then none of my nerd ass friends knew Robin Thicke was. Robin Thicke buys shots for everyone in the bar. He proceeded to get so goddamn drunk. I was with my friend on Kit and he had Google Glass on his face. He puts it on my face and then like pushes me to uh, talk to Robin Thicke. <laughs> Cause I'm the only one who knows who he is. Gucci girl, Gucci girl, how you doing? How you moving girl? Moving girl, how's your day looking? That future girl, future girl, yeah, we on now. Take my money, go away, all you want it. Guys, you're rich for me.